This incident shows that even streamers' homes can be haunted. Twitch streamer Justa Minx is chatting with her fellow influencers, Aviva Sophia and Nico Lull, when in the midst of discussion, the wheelchair in the corner behind her moves unexpectedly. Nico Lull is the first to notice, while Aviva Sophia confirms that she saw it move too. Justin Minx denies that it moved, but it was behind her, so she couldn't have seen it. A second clip reveals further proof that Justin Minx's home is haunted. As she's talking about TikTok with her followers, a distinct silhouette flashes into view on the right. This time, she sees it out of the corner of her eye. She asks her viewers if they saw it too. Many in the comments think it's a black cat, but can a cat move a wheelchair? One strange happening is enough, two is too much to explain away. A while ago, I analyzed the case of Terry Bevers, a 45-year-old woman who was found passed away outside of a Texas church on April 18th, 2016. This creepy CCTV video shows the man responsible for her demise. He is carrying around a hammer and apparently knows Terry teaches a fitness instruction class here. He is caught on camera walking around looking for her but is never caught in real life. In other words, never identified. The reason why I'm revisiting this case is because it has still not been solved and more weird things have emerged. This white vehicle was caught on CCTV security video driving around the church parking lot on the same morning that Terry Bevers was found. There is no real reason for them to turn off the road here at 1.58 in the morning. They slowly creep around the lot at a consistently slow pace like they are watching out for something. A minute passes and then they flash the headlights one time and then put the high beams on. They do this as they pass by the entrance, almost like a signal to someone who could have been waiting inside. They slowly do a full circle and then park facing the entrance. They turn the headlights off and wait. Nobody gets out of the car and nobody exits or enters the building. Three minutes later, they turn the car on and leave. The fact that this happened hours before Terry was found outside of this building strikes me as too much of a coincidence. Nobody has been able to identify the plates of this mystery car for further questioning. Each time, they just barely avoid showing the numbers, almost like they've been planning this for a while and know exactly where to drive exactly how far away from the cameras to stay. A bottle of cleaning solution is far from scary until it moves across the counter on its own. The clerk has his back turned so it's not him. It never moves when he's looking. He can sense something strange but when he turns around, the object stops. He probably has the bottle out because he wiped the counter down. If the surface is still wet, then that could be why the object is sliding towards him. But if that were the reason then, why would it stop moving every time he turns around? That part seems more like a ghost is messing with him. So is our freaked out friend in India really working front desk at a haunted office building? Based on the weird things caught on CCTV, I really think the evidence presents a strong case for the paranormal. A YouTuber in Central Texas named Dylan Dickerson stopped feeling safe from home years ago when he first heard these strange sounds in the sky in December of 2018. I hope you can hear that. What's especially scary about this video is that at times, it sounds like a scary voice. Now we're hearing them again. At other times, it sounds like something else completely. It just seems like they're always barking. almost like a battle of some sort just beyond our galaxy. I still don't know what that is. As this video taken two and a half years later shows, the unexplained sounds in the sky have not gone away. If anything, they've become louder and more persistent, like it's evolving.
I think these are real sky sounds caught on tape because the bird sounds up close and the sky noises are far away. Plus, two years is a long time to keep faking the same kind of video without much notice. So I believe in these scary sounds over Dylan's house. Do you? And there is literally sounds coming in my basement right now. And it's freaking me out. Kids are upstairs asleep. And uh, I'm going to go down and check right now. This is, this is freaky right now because I rarely go in my basement. It's an unfinished basement. A YouTuber named an everyday Canadian has been afraid of his basement ever since he recorded an incident that he cannot explain. Oh, what the f is that sound? Fear grips his throat, but he knows what he must do. He'll never know what's causing the scary noises if his only reaction is to stand in the doorway. He knows he will be going down the stairs into the basement where a scary thing is waiting to be found. Like, I don't even want to go down there. It's dark. Hold on, guys. Let me just get my light on here quick. This is freaking me out. He thought the only thing scarier than going down there would be not knowing what it was. He was wrong. I hate basements. My laundry machine just stopped. It's just me in the basement. What the f was that? What the f Sometimes the source of a weird noise in your house is scarier than you can imagine. Sometimes going down in your basement results in witnessing paranormal activity that you wish you could erase from your camera and from your mind. And sometimes it's a toy on a string. Scary scratching from within the basement should alarm anyone. Some would call for help while others would grab their phone. Not for help, but to make sure whatever's down there is caught on camera. That's what two roommates do after one hears noises in a hidden crawl space of their home. It could have been anything though. Nah, I heard. I was scared, man. I heard noises. Hold on, move this. Move this way. Scary cat, dude. It could have been rats or whatever. What about it? We got a whole bunch of rats. Nah, man. The one who hasn't heard the noises is brave. The one who has is scared. Are you going down there? I'm not. There's a light right there, dude. You go down there while I record. There's no way he's going down into the creepy basement crawl space after hearing eerie sounds, so his roommate volunteers to show him up. Like the light right there, the string. It's around here somewhere. Hold up. Oh, I can't reach. Can't reach. I think I gotta step on that chair. There's a chair right here. To me. He squints in the darkness, and that's when he finds the scariest thing of his life. What a. Oh shit! Fast that! One minute and 27 seconds is when I can barely make out a shadow figure straightening up to greet him. He's screaming and the video ends before we get to see if he escapes from the crawl space before it reaches him. The man sees a ghost hiding in his basement according to the title of this video, but I'm not so sure the supernatural is what he's caught on camera. Something scary is in his basement crawl space for sure, but think about it. Can't reach, I got, think I gotta step on that chair. There's a chair right here to me. Why would there be a chair positioned directly under his crawl space entrance? Unless somebody has been using it to climb into their home. I don't think this is a ghost haunting the basement. I think this is an insanely scary stranger encounter caught on video. Anyway, that's my analysis. But what do you make of this strange sighting? Everyone is playing it up for the camera at an outdoor party when one friend named Justin decides to act funny with a glow stick in his mouth. Soon, neon green sludge pours from his lips. He says that it's leaking as if he didn't just bite it himself. Oh, 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 it's leaking. <laughs> that means when he was shaking it at around the 11 second mark, the liquid must have gotten everywhere. 
A concerned friend rushes up with some good advice. But Justin takes a gulp instead of rinsing and ends up consuming more of the substance than before. The video ends soon after, and I wouldn't be surprised if they rushed him for medical attention, just in case. Wanda Chance is riding down the road when she sees a stranger who looks out of place. He is wearing a floor-length black cloak and holds his hands in front of him, possibly making a symbol. Wanda is suspicious of him and they drive by again. I think he looks like he might just be a regular teenager, sporting a gothic clothing style and look, but Wanda notices a long and pointy ear at 1 minutes and 14 seconds and questions if he is really a person at all. What do you think about this sighting? Sure, it's strange, but is this just a person with an uncommon fashion style for the area or a visitor from somewhere far off trying their best to fit in? A group of friends are exploring an abandoned house but they get no further than the front door before they get freaked out by a possible ghost sighting. According to the description, if you look closely at the right side of the window, you'll see a shadow figure looking at them. Take a look at what they've caught on tape and tell me if you see a shadow figure on the right. Oh, no, that's a shadow, that's a shadow, that's a shadow. Exactly. <gasps> At first, I thought they were maybe talking about this shadowy figure down here, which is on the right like they say, but I'm pretty sure that's the shadow of the person holding the camera, and what could be a glowing eye is actually light from their camera too. Also, the person in a red shirt who sees the shadow figure is pointing in an entirely different direction. Like I said, I don't see anything paranormal in this video, but every single person in the comments says there is a shadow figure caught on camera if you look close enough. Just because I don't see it doesn't mean one isn't there. Somebody help me out because I want to know what they are looking at. When you do see it, apparently it's really scary. This creepy video is what happens when you go ghost hunting around Ireland's haunted woods of Newton Abbey. Kelly, did you hear the word amber? I don't hear anything, but I do see a strange mist has been caught on camera. Paranormal, I'd say, because it doesn't look like their breath. It happens twice, here at 26 seconds and again at 28 seconds. I hear they have a lot of foggy weather in Ireland, so maybe this is a small patch of fog they've caught on camera instead of a ghost. But let's face it, they get creeped out in a scary part of the woods known to be haunted, stop to record, and then capture some strange sightings on tape. So maybe this is a paranormal ghost video. These friends are talking in the kitchen when someone else pulls up a chair to join them. The only problem is, no one's there. When one of them finally notices that the chair is a full two or three feet away from the table, he's so startled that he doesn't even close the refrigerator. He just wants to get away fast, which is a realistic reaction for sure. That chair move. Of course, no one else in the group believes his bizarre story at first, but when they see it for themselves, their scared reaction are as legit as can be. I'll add that the fear and surprise on his face is readily apparent here too. All of them are trying to come up with a rational explanation, and the best answer they have is that the man in a white shirt is somehow causing it to happen. It's true that the chair only seems to move when he is either approaching it or standing nearby. Just when they are beginning to calm down, a final event seems to confirm their suspicions. <laughs> Let me know what you think is happening here, and if you think this is a prank or the early stages of a spiritual possession. Timothy Bartlett is exploring a water park that's haunted by a former guest named Billy. Hi, is anybody here? Hi, Billy. I'm here. Things are about to get real creepy real fast. Watch. Could you move something again for me? Oh. Holy sh 
A chair moves on its own accord upon Timothy's request for Billy the Ghost to move an object and prove himself to be real. Paranormal activity is possible, but the low quality resolution could easily hide a string if there was one. This was not done on purpose as the resolution is average quality for a 2012 phone camera video, so maybe it's real. Creepy lights in a dark basement, a sure sign that something in your house has gone wrong. A YouTuber named the Drum Player 101 has a quick clip of something strange caught on camera. Lately I've been seeing and hearing weird things in my basement. Let's go check it out. Oh. Glowing eyes look back at them from within the darkness, and the two scared brothers run away. When they return for a second, they find it's still there, a small creature low to the ground with large, unblinking eyes. They say it's a ghost, but it could be a fake video using their pet cat. I thought it was weird of them to keep their cat in the basement, in the dark, but I looked it up. And sometimes they do like curling up in small, isolated spaces. At 13 seconds, it looks like the animal is raising its head like it was taking a nap. Cat eyes can reflect a large ray of colors. And blue, while not as common, is not unheard of. So I don't believe this video is real. With that said, this video of creepy eyes watching you from the darkness could help explain all of the other similar videos like it. Number 2. Luan Mendes is a paranormal investigator and urban explorer from Brazil who likes to go exploring haunted and abandoned places of his many scary videos. This ghost hunting video is by far the scariest. He is hunting for a ghost that often takes the form of a scary old woman. It isn't long before the alleged ghost sightings caught on camera. The ghost scares them in the window and then especially in the doorway. I would question if this ghost video is real or not, except for one weird thing here. They are shining a light directly at the woman, and yet nowhere does her mysterious figure cast a shadow. That's probably the scariest thing of all. It makes it seem like the video's paranormal to me. An abandoned school that served as a German headquarters a long time ago. A ghostly female apparition spotted in the window. This dilapidated site is ripe for exploration. Originally published by Dark Ghost Paranormal, this scary video follows Dennis as he takes on the challenge. Using a spirit box, Dennis tries to find out what is going on here. The spirit box immediately informs him that a spirit is here. She says that he doesn't know her. After asking if she burnt the place down, she answers in the affirmative. She also says, they did it to me, they burned me. And Dennis is told they're in the basement, whoever they are. Dennis heads inside to have a look. After asking for a sign of the spirit's presence, he is given one. Down in the basement, he finds something like a bunker. While speaking with the spirits, a box makes a noise in the corner. His lights go out, and he hears mysterious knocks in the room. He tries the door at the end of the room, but it seems shut tight. When he asks the spirits through the spirit box what they want from him, they have a simple answer. After the spirits warn him to leave, 
and the lights go out again. Suddenly, he looks up to find the door open. He gathers his stuff and gets out of there in the nick of time. Another camera on the outside of the room captures the door opening on its own. Is this the spirit of whoever set fire to the lady in the window? Or is it the lady herself? Ilgin Pudding of the South Korean YouTube channel, Ghost Horror Diary, has a creepy video with an important message. Ilgin wants to prove that ghost hunting is not a men's only activity and that she can be just as brave. She goes exploring an abandoned building all by herself, a haunted place where paranormal energy pours forth from the entrance. Now, this lone ghost hunter starts to catch some very interesting things on video. Next, she captures this. A scary, smiling ghost face makes her recoil in horror. She presses on down a hidden hallway teeming with paranormal energy, and at the top of some stairs is a really weird painting that she zooms in on. Something about this place, the painting, the room, feels haunted. No more than this, she says, and walks back down. I would like to know more about this painting if anybody happens to recognize it, or anything about the scene it's portraying. It looks like somebody in knight's armor is raising a shield in the air at a podium with someone kneeling behind them, but that's all I can tell. Oh, and there's one more thing that's scary. On the floor of another room is a handwritten sign with this message that freaks her out. Who left it here and what does it say? A woman with an octopus on her face tries to laugh it off, despite her extreme fear. What does she say here? It's mercifully hanging out of her mouth for now, but if it moves in any further, then it would be reaching down her throat. She is one wrong move away from having her oxygen cut off. Its tentacles squirm around her eyes and across her tongue as she screams and pulls the creature free with one last burst of strength. The octopus itself looks like it came straight out of the ocean. I can only imagine how disgusting the lingering aftertaste must have been. Wilster 27 is staying with her sister and her friend at a hotel in Orlando, Florida, when they decide to take the elevator one last time for fun. Big mistake. It turns out to be one of the scariest moments of their lives. Everything is going fine until the girl wearing a black shirt starts jumping at 16 seconds, and then two seconds later the whole thing makes a terrible sound, like something has broken or a safety mechanism has kicked in. I'm not sure which, but both are bad and now the door is jammed. Soon, a nervous crowd forms and people are shouting at them from below as Emma waves her hands for help in a panic. You'll hear what sounds like a security guard or some kind of employee walk up and tell her to stop in a stern voice, which is a little bizarre. Why? Oh. Eventually, firefighters come to the rescue and pry open the doors long enough to crawl through the hole on their hands and knees. The only reason I think they were told to stop recording in the first place is because the hotel knew they could be dealing with a lawsuit and wanted no video evidence in case the elevator came crashing down. They were almost definitely in more trouble than they understood, so basically never jump in the elevator. A YouTuber named Outdoors Weekly is fishing with his little brother when he gets a little too comfortable with his surroundings and makes the mistake of letting his guard down. Oh! No! 
Oh my god! Oh, dude! Oh. He sees the snake at 2 minutes and 21 seconds, and hears his raised foot approximately 1 second later at 2 minutes and 22 seconds, ready to come down. He was about to step right on it, no doubt about that, but I want to know how bad the bite would have been. Take a look at this reptile. Is this one you can identify? Thanks for the answer, if so. Maddie Smith is traveling to the airport with her friends Tyler and Tori when her Uber driver Tony displays some very strange behavior along the way. He makes a remark that immediately puts them on edge, and I wanted to get your opinion on how you would feel if someone randomly said this to you. God was telling him that someone in the car needed to be saved and we needed to figure out who it was. Shortly thereafter, he begins reciting scripture that could easily be taken as thinly veiled threats, especially coming from a stranger they've just met. He was a murderer. I personally think that he should have been able to see the rather obvious discomfort on Maddie's face and probably should have stopped this discussion, but he continues to steer the conversation towards his beliefs. He's been talking for a long time now, and Maddie hears the GPS telling him to turn around because they've missed their exit. She claims that Tony later admits that he was missing the exits on purpose. My question is if he wanted to simply ramble at them some more, or if he is blatantly taking them somewhere else. Watch this and you tell me. You can play church all your life. I never really understand what you're in. Now that I think about it, this routine might have been a trick to get more money. They were too freaked out to do much about his ranting and ended up riding around with him for an hour and eventually they requested that he drop them off even though they were not at their actual destination. How serious do you think Tony was being and where do you think this conversation would have ended if Maddie and her friends had not stopped it sooner? Now Mar 5 is a popular vlogger with a channel full of entertaining videos and some creepy ones too. One of his creepy videos has him exploring a haunted abandoned school in his home country of Turkey. The scary things he's caught on tape in this haunted place are no doubt creepy beyond all mention, so I'll let the chilling paranormal evidence speak for itself. A ghost figure or maybe just a weird person dressed in all black is in this room and refuses to leave. I'm not sure if this video of a ghost sighting is real or fake. But I think it could be real because they run out of there faster than any other scary video I've ever analyzed. You might want to avoid this forest because it's apparently home to Brain Hungry Zombies, published by Addy Ant in October of 2021. A man appears completely lost in the thick foliage of a forest at night. As he's walking, a terrifying noise is heard. <sighs> <Hey>. <sighs> He continues periodically calling out to whatever awaits him in the dense trees. Hello? Nang? Oi! Ensure! That's when he sees this. Something lying in the dirt crawls out, obviously to feast upon his brains. The man turns around and races out of the forest in fear. At one point, he is knocked to the ground. He looks around, whimpering in the darkness, but doesn't see anything around him. Did the zombie give up, or is he on the verge of an ambush? A YouTuber named WW2 History Hunter combs an old battlefield in search of artifacts when he suddenly feels watched. 
He looks into the distance and thinks he sees ghostly movements ahead. Apparently the leaves keep rustling in this one spot in particular, but when he goes to check, no one is there. I think I see what he is talking about, but I'm not 100% sure. Something is following me. Just saw that. I've seen that three times now. He checks this area no less than three separate times, but like I said, I'm having trouble making it out for sure. Still, having said that, I do hear a clear reply when he starts talking again. There's a short pause and then a voice right behind him says, Yup. Very, very spooky. The ground he is standing on has seen a lot of action, so maybe talking about the battle while picking stuff up was enough to summon a spirit. He could have been standing directly over their buried body for all we know. Humans aren't the only beings with the apparent ability to teleport. Published by The Buzz in January of 2015, this mysterious video appears to show a canine teleportation. The video, filmed during a street race on an empty motorway in Chile, shows a dog suddenly materializing out of nowhere. In the clip, two cars speed down the track as the camera swings after them. Following the race, a dog suddenly appears in their wake, crossing the road. In slow motion, the dog appears out of thin air in the middle of the road, somehow avoiding the two cars, neither of which budge at all in their straight shot down the track. Did this dog teleport here as many in the comments seem to believe? Whether or not he did, I think Pog Squatch sums up our sentiment. Scotty needs to be more careful when he beams you down. That was too close for comfort. In the woods near Crybaby Bridge, this paranormal crew asks the spirit if he likes their company, and the spirit answers. Published by Hauntings of Ohio in February of 2020, the scary paranormal communication was captured on video. The video shows the crew communicating through a spirit box. After posting the video, this is the answer they receive. Do you like our company? What the? The guys say this is one of the clearest and most demonic voices they've ever caught on camera. Terrifying though it is, at least the answer was yes. Do you like our company? <laughs> what the? Dude! That was crystal clear, dude. Yes. A YouTube channel called Salamia 3 Alum is demonstrating a high flying hobby known as fire acrobatics when some creepy paranormal activity is caught on camera. Caught in the light of his flaming barrel is a mysterious hooded ghostly figure that hovers against the wall of an abandoned house for a few brief scary moments and then disappears. The video looks pretty real to most because the ghost appears to be the same resolution as everything else and its color does not sharply contrast with the video. This video, however creepy, has one thing that looks wrong. Notice how the video fades to black at 11 seconds. This part makes me wonder if this ghost sighting is actually real. One of the most fearsome visions of a shadow person ever caught on camera, this clip will have any skeptic questioning things. Originally published by Ghosts of Carmel, Maine, this scary video was captured by its haunted homeowner. As the homeowner enters a bedroom, a full shadow figure is seen sitting on the bed, outlined by the light from the window. The man panics and steps out of the room for a moment. A split second later when he returns, the figure has vanished. Are you convinced of the existence of shadow figures? I am. Kloss finds something in his basement that's so scary. He has set up multiple cameras in his basement to try and capture it on camera. All he finds is this extra creepy layer of skin dried up against the wall. Listening to the sound the skin makes when touched is enough to make me want to peel out of my own. What in the world? He says it's juvenile, and I'd say that's a safe bet since it can't be finished growing. 
if it is still shedding its skin from time to time. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is a big snake. And it's somewhere in my basement. You can see where the snake used the grooves between two stones to rub off its old skin and emerge even bigger than before. A Google search reveals snakes will come into the basement through basement cracks and even through drains if you have any plumbing hooked up down there. Once they're in, the only way to get them to leave is to remove them by hand or call for help. The description says it's over three feet long. Assuming he measured accurately, I'd say it's time to leave this one up to the pros. Mustava Sven is one of the very few brave paranormal exploration channels from Iraq and he is definitely one of the best. Let's check out a 24 hour challenge he took at a scary haunted abandoned house that he's always been afraid to go exploring. It isn't long until paranormal entities come wailing for him and all of the creepiness is caught on video with two different cameras. It starts with little things that are quite weird like a shadow moving strangely in the hall behind him. I mean yeah, I guess it could just be his hand, but the shadow doesn't exactly follow his movements and I don't know, the angles just don't match up. Then shortly after the spooky shadow passes by, more weird things are caught on camera. Hello, what's the backpack is actually very well balanced and should not tip over, and it bothers him that it does. He tries to recreate the situation and cannot. Scary noises aside, the backpack is far from the only object caught on camera moving by itself on this haunted night. A stone silently dislodges from the mantel place and crashes to the ground, followed by another one. The poltergeist is pulling this house apart brick by brick, willing to do whatever it takes to scare this ghost hunter away. A padlock bounces on its own like a ghost is trying to open the door. Watch closely and tell me if you think this is a poltergeist or someone on the other end of the door poking through the crack with a stick. But just when I was beginning to think this video might not be paranormal, it becomes one of the creepiest videos I've seen in a long time. A rising wail of spirits closing in makes him realize this 24 hour challenge needs to be cut about 20 hours short and so he finally leaves. A group of neighborhood kids from Algeria decide to rush the local haunted house, reasoning that the ghost inside can't get them all. Someone tell me what's going on here. I think they might be nervous and start to pray. <laughs> <laughs> Their words seem to have successfully riled up something as they gather excitedly to see what's behind this wall. <laughs> You'll never believe the weird things they've caught on tape. Oh, 
This still image taken at 3 minutes and 56 seconds shows at best the outline of a shadow figure watching them as they leave. This is some of the best paranormal evidence caught on tape that I've seen in a while. The mysterious figure is standing directly under a window and yet is still covered in darkness. A chef and his apprentice rummage around the kitchen to do some last minute prep work before opening. One of them undoes the plastic ties from all of the bread and then takes a few steps away. Moments later, he looks over only to see a single remaining piece of bread raise itself in the air and land in the corner with a smack. He tries to explain what happened to a co-worker as he examines the bread for anything wrong, finding nothing. I was waiting for it to jump back out after he throws it away, but I guess it's done moving for now. Everybody probably thought he was going crazy, and maybe he did too, until they checked out this haunting video for themselves and posted it online. A YouTuber on Long Island, New York, started a channel called My Haunted Diary because his rental house is filled with paranormal activity. The tenant before him passed away, and now he is left with some weird things caught on tape for us to analyze. Tell me if you heard the ghost moan or not. You see some shadow? Did you hear that? It was like a freaking moaning voice right around here. The more he listens, the more scary noises he seems to hear. I'm kind of nervous right now. I'm creeped out. I'm not going to pretend. It's pretty creepy. I don't know how much more I can take it up here. I'm freaking out. Whatever is in here with him seems to sense he is scared and feeds off his fear. I know sometimes houses can make creaking noises, but this part is probably the best paranormal evidence ever caught by him. Just coming to visit you again, so I don't know if you're around. But I've come back. The timing of such a clear response indicates that he is, in fact, having an interaction with someone rather than his imagination. Freaky, right? It's hard to say if this video is really paranormal or simply due to a baby's loose grip. Keisha Vosquez is singing to her child when, in her eyes, a hairbrush is ripped from her daughter's hands. Watch the moment it happens and tell me if you think she dropped the brush or if it was taken by an unseen force. At first, I was inclined to write this off as a fumble, but notice how at approximately 10 seconds, an orb crawls along the right side of the screen seconds before the hairbrush leaves her hands, followed by more orbs immediately afterwards. Since these orbs could be an indication of the supernatural, I think either explanation holds weight, and I look forward to getting your thoughts. A man in Saudi Arabia films himself working outside when he almost gets seriously messed up. At first, it looks like he simply loses his balance, but that's not what he claims, and it's not what the video evidence shows. He says something in the desert pulled on his leg, a supernatural force that wanted him to fall. Watch again and you'll see his leg does go backwards, but it doesn't go very high so maybe he could be lifting it himself. So while this would be a creepy situation, it's hard to say if he's really telling the truth or making it up for attention. Judging from the comments, about two thirds of the people who have watched this video worry it's real. Do you believe them? A man is complaining about the constant rain in Raleigh, North Carolina, when nature apparently has had enough. That sucks. Uh, looks like it's gonna be... Oh. When you play frame by frame at 12 seconds, you can see a bright white flash takes up most of the screen and comes from the left. That means the lightning hit extremely close, probably his parking lot if not his building, and the video immediately ends. Spooky Gotham goes exploring an abandoned factory building in India. <laughs> because it's rumored to be the source of much paranormal activity according to local gossip. Lady 
Let's take a look at some of the ultra creepy moments they've caught on tape and see if they're really paranormal. <laughs> Leaving the building does not solve their fears. They appear to be arguing about whether or not there's a paranormal mist in the shape of a figure when more scary things are caught on camera. <laughs> Watch for the yellow ghost door about 31 minutes and 47 seconds. Hello? Freaky, right? He and his team know they have to press the paranormal investigation forward and keep exploring the abandoned factory, but their courage doesn't last for long. They run off screaming without ever getting a chance to see what was following so close behind. But wait, at 16 minutes and 32 seconds, they appear to have caught a phantom apparition on camera, a scary man who is not part of the ghost hunting group in the slightest. They think it's a scary face looking back at them, but it could just be a piece of rotting drywall shaped like one. Either way, I'd say this abandoned factory building in India is haunted by something paranormal and that it's probably too spooky to keep making ghost hunting videos there anymore. Jonathan FOD and his friends go exploring an abandoned meat processing facility building that everyone in town says is haunted, but the air quotes around ghost seems to mean he doesn't quite believe it. So supposedly, there's a ghost. That runs around here. Soon he will. Oh, shit. Hey! Who's here? As Jonathan, FOD, and his two friends are ghost hunting in some kind of tool shed, they get what they think could be some paranormal evidence caught on tape. What the? Bro, what the fuck is that? Is anybody there? Oh. All three of them are on camera when these noises happen. You can see they are just standing there with their hands down, so it can't be them. Maybe Jonathan had a fourth person making all of that noise, but I don't see how they could have faked that ghost EVP at 8 minutes and 50 seconds. It really does sound like the muffled voice of a small child. A Saudi Arabian ghost hunter known as Explorer Abdullah Al Anzi goes investigating a haunted mansion that has been abandoned for a long time. Strange paranormal activity begins in the courtyard. Decades of decay have worn this place into little more than roomfuls of rubble that he is determined to explore. As he is wondering how many floors this building has, he realizes he is far from alone. He's exploring the basement when he hears something in a commanding voice. If you know what was said, then fill us in too. He isn't sure where it's coming from, so he looks all around. Right before Abdullah turns around, something strange is caught on camera looking at him at 16 minutes and 23 seconds. A spirit or a creature with a single glowing eye. 
The voice is never heard again, so he thinks it's a gin. Based on the paranormal evidence he's caught on camera, I think he's probably correct. Randy Doss claims to live in a haunted house and offers this video evidence for proof. I dare you to slam that door. <laughs> They start recording this video after the door opens all by itself, at which point they try to get the spirit to do something else. And with that said, the ghost seemingly takes up the challenge. Watch the crack in the door and you'll see there's absolutely nobody on the other side. No. Just for the record, it's only Nick and I here. Just when the door almost slams shut, this happens. Oh my god, no! Oh my god! Whoa. The obvious answer is that there is a child standing on the other side of the door, but look again. There appears to be nothing more than an empty sleeve, and more importantly, it doesn't make contact with the door at all. This makes me think that whatever forced the door open could have also wrestled the nearby jacket too. Jim Lin is visiting Harbin, Japan, and now faces bowl after bowl of gourmet insects. The pressure is on to sample the culture by eating as many different dishes as he can. At 4 minutes and 1 seconds, the juices of a plump cicada hits the back of his throat with a loud squirt. The insides look wet and green, and not like something I would look forward to trying. How would you even tell if this was cooked right? But there's still more bugs to eat. This oversized grasshopper looks more like a crayfish. They are in a busy market with music and people having conversations everywhere. And yet the crunch is louder than anything else going on. When in Rome, do as the Romans do is an age-old expression that means you should follow the rules of other cultures in their country. But I don't think everyone could handle this bug buffet. It may just make your jaw drop. Something's Watching You, published by Paranormal Instincts in January of 2022, a girl was walking her dog at night in the woods when she captured something observing her amongst the trees. The video clip shows the girl walking along a dirt path in the darkness as her camera pans to the side. A tall, gaunt, pale figure dressed in dark clothes is spotted, standing next to a tree watching her. Although she doesn't seem to see it, her dog senses someone there. He stops and looks in the figure's direction on full alert. She has to urge the dog to come along. When she pans the camera back toward the same tree, the figure is no longer there. They continue on their walk, hopefully without any further encounter. But I imagine after watching this video back, there will be no further midnight walks either. A truck driver checks his mirror just in time to see a dusty road hazard swirling his way. Try and translate this part, because I would love to hear his initial reaction word for word. The mini tornado dances all around and blocks the only exit. Getting out and running is probably not a good option because it could randomly change direction and come barreling his way. Now all he can do is stay inside and hope it doesn't move forward another 10 feet and rip off his door, which it looks strong enough to do. If you doubt its power, this bent street light says otherwise. After less than a minute, the tornado of dust dissipates moments before, raging through somebody's front door. We like to think that we'd somehow remain in control of any emergency, but all of this was random. His survival was based far more on chances than choices. What should you do when the Ouija board answers you? Published to the r slash ghosts subreddit, Nepa Smash asks viewers their thoughts on this scary video, which was filmed during a Ouija board session in a haunted room of their home. In the clip, the group asks if any spirits would like to communicate. After a moment, there is an alarming bang off screen. Are there any spirits that would like to communicate with us? Two of the boys look up. Right before the bang, however, another mysterious action unfolds, but it's hard to see if you don't know it's there. A paintbrush is thrown across the room. Although it's difficult to tell in the video, this imager photo shows the incident in more detail. 
Many in the thread think a non-supernatural explanation might be that the guy laying on the floor off to the right could have played a trick on the other somehow, but some note that he doesn't even seem to react. As for the knock, well, the combination of the knock and the projectile does seem uncanny. Setting the rest aside, Redditor Eek Eekum draws the right conclusion. Please tell me you closed out of the Ouija board after that. Who knows what might have happened if they didn't. There's someone down there! I'm literally shaking right now. I am on my own right now. Hello? A YouTuber named Andrew Duffy has a paranormal problem in his basement that literally leaves him shaking with fear. Is there someone in here? Make your presence known. Do something now. He shakes throughout the entire 10 minutes and 43 seconds of this video without a break, which would take some talent to fake. Here's a good example. If you're playing hide and seek in the woods, expect to be sought by something sinister. Published by Rexyboy34 in September of 2009, this group was messing around in the woods when they realized they were not alone. The cameraman taking the video scans the ground in the surrounding woods, which look particularly eerie in the afternoon. As the camera pans toward his three friends, someone else is creeping behind them. What the f was that? Behind you. I'm being serious, there was something there. There was. I'm not, there was something there. A figure in black appears for a moment over one of their shoulders. The cameraman calls attention to the figure, and they all turn around to look, but by the time they do, the figure has disappeared behind a tree in the distance. The group thinks he's kidding around, but I see the figure too. As they all watch the tree for a moment, the figure reappears and takes a stride toward them. We are left filled with screams and confusion. What is this figure after, and why is he stalking them? Are you afraid of your own house? Join the club. Posted to TikTok by ScaryClips606, this man's haunting is intensifying, and this clip reveals it's about to get worse. As the man wanders around his house in fear, a strange noise is heard from the hallway. Whoever's in here needs to leave. Like, I've had enough of it, and it's just getting worse. It becomes quicker, like it's galloping. Some in the comments say the galloping sounds like a demon with goat legs. The man looks down the hallway and enters the kitchen. There's nothing there. He tells the spirit to leave, but maybe it just doesn't want to. Sophie Dosi is a talented contortionist with a twisted sense of humor, so to speak. Here she does a crab walk backwards at top speeds with her head barely hanging above the floor. This is a really creative, ingenious way to scare people that I've never seen done before, but I can't help but think it's a little dangerous too. I mean, if she steps on her hair while walking like this, her neck could snap all the way back. Maybe I'm just exaggerating, but I think I see it almost happen multiple times as she races down the aisle, which adds a whole new level of fear to the overall situation. Sometimes, if you want to know if a room is haunted or not, all you have to do is ask. Move it. Holy sh It's creepy, but I'm not sure this object really moved on its own. It sounds like a fan is blowing from side to side and could have moved the object instead of a ghost. Tell me if you hear it. Holy sh He might have put the bottle at just the right distance to make it seemingly move upon his command. Is this moment paranormal to you? I'm on the fence with this one. This man named Abdullah knows of a haunted lab where past experiments gone wrong have created just the right circumstances for a scary exploration video. 
Some scary symbols give Abdullah a bad feeling about going any further. A strange eye with the number 8 inside. A creepy figure with horns. No face and long, sharp fingers next to a pentagram. I wonder what that's all about. They walk past the symbols and into a dark corner that swallows their flashlight with ease. The next room is the scariest place of all for reasons that they can sense but cannot put into words. Later, when they review the video and see what's been caught on tape, their fears are explained. <laughs> An unknown object floats towards them. I don't know if it's an apparition, a ghost orb, or just a scared bird, but neither do they, and that's what makes it so creepy. Considering that they did just see that weird warning of a monster on the wall, and they're exploring an abandoned lab where experiments have gone wrong. I think this could have been something worth running away from. A YouTuber named Unnounce posted this trail cam footage. He caught while camping at the foot of Maple Mountain in Ontario. For two nights in a row, a strange and loud humming noise made him pass out from 8 at night until 11 in the morning the next day. At first, you can only see this curly, out-of-focus object, but it's actually the arm of this giant creature. If it is a costume, it's really good, and I wouldn't even know where to step in. The blob glows pure white as it curiously handles the camera, then its glow extends to the tree behind. Unknowns claims he had no idea what was camping with him those two nights. Do you believe him? I certainly do. Word of warning, always welcome ghouls to the party. If you don't, they will come a-haunting. Published by Oliver Fear, this clip's original source is unknown, but believed to be from TikTok. The video shows a party gathered around a swimming pool. As the camera pans around the pool, capturing all the fun, a sullen figure of a young girl dressed in white is seen standing in the grass to the side. When the camera pans back, the creepy ghost girl is gone. Did she abandon the party? Or is she closer than you think? With her camera recording, a girl kneels before a darkened doorway and challenges a spirit to touch her. A light passes over the room and her hair is brushed over her shoulder as if someone is passing through. I find this video hard to believe because that definitely looks like a flashlight coming from the other room. Based on the way it hits the wall beside her in a concentrated circular beam. With that said, it still doesn't explain how her hair moved with no one nearby. Let me know if this effect is possible to do in Photoshop, or whether or not you think this is real. If it is real, then I have no idea why she would want to summon something so powerful in her own home. Thank you so much for getting me to 20,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 30,000 subscribers next. Thank you.